Hello everybody, this is Rohan from Math Gems, and today we are going to be deriving the quadratic formula. A quadratic equation is an equation, but in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, where a, b, and c are non-zero real numbers. They don't have to be positive or negative, or they don't have to be integers. So say you throw a rock off a 100 meter high cliff and when it first gets out of your hand, it starts at a rate of 5 meters per second. And you want to know how long it will take for the rock to reach the ground. Well, it might seem that the answer is 20 seconds, but it's not because gravity actually accelerates the rock so that it starts at some point going six meters per second. So quadratic equations are useful to solve those kinds of problems. The quadratic formula helps you derive x in terms of a, b, and c with nothing other than those variables in it. So let's get started deriving it. The first step is to divide everything by a in our ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero because if you want to square root the x squared term, which we are going to do in the following steps, we are just have to get rid of a because then we don't want an annoying square root a in our equation. So let's divide everything by a. We get x squared plus bx over a plus c over a equals zero. And here we just move c over a to the other side. So x squared plus bx over a equals negative c over a. And now we want the whole left side to be a perfect square. Now what we want is it could be the square of two terms added together so that's what we're gonna do here um, and the formula for x plus y whole squared if x and y are just some numbers is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared and we already have the x squared on our equation. We'll just let bx over a, because it's it's already there, we're, we're going to let bx over a be the 2xy term. And we'll find y by just dividing by 2x. And as you see here, y should be b over 2a. And we'll square that to get the y over squared term, which we just add b squared over 4a squared to both sides, which is y squared, and now the whole left side is a perfect square. And in this next step right here, we just get minus c over a to have the same denominator as um, b squared over 4a squared, so we just multiply both sides of minus c over a, my, multiply both sides of the fraction by 4a, and that'll settle it. And now we just will um, combine that fraction. So now it's one big fraction, b squared minus 4ac over 4a squared. And, as predicted, we're going to square root everything. So, it becomes x plus b over 2a, as planned, which will equal plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And here, we are just going to take that minus b over 2a, I'm sorry, plus b over 2a to the other side and then combine that into one big fraction so you get the final quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a this 
actually does work on quadratic equations when you test them. And, as always, thanks for watching.